all right guys first before this video starts i want to tell you guys this tutorial is for people that are specifically very new to after effects but first check out my first creative meetup here in brisbane australia if you live near brisbane we're going to be doing these just about every month check out my instagram for more information how's it going guys josh here aka olufemi and i'm going to tell you a really cool trick that you can do right in after effects i call it the entry impact transition this is a transition that can really just make the front part of a clip look way more engaging and give it a little bit of pop. Now the clip that I used was actually part of footage of a music video that I shot right here in this apartment. It was really cool, kind of spur of the moment impromptu shoot. Don't worry, there's gonna be future tutorials about all the different tricks that we used. But right now, let's just focus on this one specific transition. Now we're gonna start off in Premiere. You're gonna right click on the clip and do replace with After Effects Composition. This is gonna transfer the clip from Premiere into After Effects. Now in After Effects, you're gonna go into Effects and Presets and actually take out the motion tile effect and plop it right onto the clip. Now I want you to kind of understand what we're doing right here. Um, what we're doing is we want the clip to actually come in and kind of like roll and rotate into position and rock back and forth a little bit and then ease and adjust itself to look normal. Now you're probably thinking in order for the clip to actually roll back and forth, you're gonna see black edges because the clip is shaped like a rectangle. So that's what this motion tile effect is gonna help with. Now, as you can see, as the clip rotates, you can see that the clip is actually duplicated on the edges, so you actually don't see any black edges. It's perfect. Now, make sure that you always click on the Mirror Edges tab. This kind of smooths the edges over and make sure that the edges mirror each other so that the edges almost seem seamless. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Transform and then you're gonna go into Scale and keyframe the scale so that it zooms in. As you see guys, I'm actually adding two extra scale keyframes just to zoom in halfway through the clip. Now do this first as well. Click on the overall global motion blur so that you have the option of enabling motion blur on any tracks that you want. Then click on the specific track motion blur to enable motion blur on that specific track. The track that we're gonna enable motion blur on is of course the only track that we're using, the track that the clip is on. And check this out, as we animate any type of movement, whether it be scale like we're doing now and rotation that we're gonna do later, you're gonna actually see motion blur being artificially created by After Effects. It's gonna look dope. Now we're gonna go into rotation and we're going to create a few different keyframes in the rotation. How about we rotate it all the way to the left and then we have it rotate all the way to the right and add a few more keyframes in there so it rotates back and forth as it, it eventually just ends up upright. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all the keyframes, we're gonna right click on them, go to keyframe assistant, and then click on easy ease. This is gonna give you a nice smooth Bezier um, transition for each of these parameters as opposed to a more linear, harsh transition. And then we're gonna do something that you guys may have never done before. We're gonna go click on the graph editor button. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be able to go in and actually affect the transition visually via the graph editor. Check this out. Now you gotta actually click on the specific thing that you wanna edit, which is gonna be the rotation. So you click on that and the keyframes appear in the graph editor. It's really cool. All you gotta do is adjust the height of the keyframe to determine the angle of rotation. So we're gonna do that for a few of them. You'll see that some of them are already actually in place. Um, so we can finesse those as we like. And then we can use these things called handles which are attached to each keyframe to basically adjust the velocity of each effect. Adjust to your own liking and check it out. This is what it looks like in the end. Alright guys, after you've successfully done this transition in After Effects, all you gotta do is go back to Premiere and you'll realize that the Premiere clip that you right clicked to bring into After Effects has been transformed into an After Effects composition and everything that you've done in After Effects will be done within that clip inside Premiere. 
then all you gotta do is export that clip out of Premiere like you usually would. And look at that, look how easy that was. It was a quick, quick transition, the impact entry transition. Um, one of many transitions that I used in this music video. More tutorials to come. Thanks so much for watching, and as always guys, keep it chill.